This video is brought to you by, well, me. Buy some of my merch. The link's down in the description. Check it out. Welcome to the demo for Kirby Star Allies, a game made by Nintendo that's a 2.5D platformer with an emphasis on co-op. Never done that before! So, I know life counters are kind of an outdated concept in video games in general now, but what kind of number is seven for how many lives you start with? I mean, seriously, it's always like five or three. I, I don't think I've ever seen a game that starts you with seven lives. I don't know, maybe Kirby's just a cat that died twice. Tutorial brand billboards, how may I help you? Oh, you'd like a giant glowing Nintendo Switch controller on a wooden sign in the middle of Dreamland? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, that, uh, that totally makes sense. We can do that for you right away. We've also got our two for the price of one special on at the moment, so if you want to throw in a four billboard, we can do that right for you, dude. Seriously, this game is gorgeous. How the heck did they get this running on a modern video game console? Like, this is just so beautiful. This is amazing. Nintendo, you have done it again. Actually, it's HAL Laboratories. I keep saying Nintendo. I gotta start saying HAL Laboratories. I have no idea how they did this. Oh. There's... There's loading screens with tool tips in the middle of a level? That's a thing that can happen now? I'm sorry, I think I'm gonna have to load a better joke response to that. Okay, so apparently the main mechanic in this game is Kirby literally ripping his own heart out, throwing it at an enemy, and violently transmorgifying their body into a more pleasant looking appearance so that Kirby can then mind control these people into fighting for him in his conquest to conquer all of Dreamland. Do I have that right? Is there any Kirby lore enthusiasts in the comments section? Also, if only it were this easy. Maybe I'd actually have people to get co-op footage of this with. Finally, a positive sex education video game. At last! Wait, so three Waddle Dees are cosplaying as themselves? Seems kind of conceited, guys. Just a little bit conceited. Wait, did we just speedrun Mario 64? That's a lot of stars. We should, we should probably check the leaderboards for that. Ah, yes. The famous step two of starting any friendship. Self-immolation. I have the power! That, that's like how he says it, right? I've never actually watched He-Man. I just, I just assume that's how he says it. All right, I'm just gonna come out and say it. That looks a bit out of place. If you see something, say something, folks. Wait, are these jiggies? Nintendo, you can't just make your collectibles puzzle pieces. That that just makes me want to Banjo-Kazooie 3. Now I'm just sad. It should be physically impossible to be sad while playing a Kirby game, and I am sad while playing a Kirby game. Why can't we get a Banjo-Kazooie 3? Wait, how does an ice sword work? I mean, I can kind of get the logistics of a fire sword, but uh, ice sword would just be like, slightly more painful than getting stabbed, maybe? Heck, that might even make it feel better if it would numb it a little bit. What is this for? Oh, that's what it's for. Okay, I, I was I was gonna wait for attacking those, buddy. You kinda you kinda jumped the gun. You're jumping the gun! Comedy has an ebb and flow and you're ruining it! Alright, Mario Galaxy 2, SGDQ, here we come! In this corner, we have a group of combatants that literally wield either fire swords or are made of fire themselves. In this corner, we have an immobile tree. This is gonna go great for the tree. Okay, what is with the Street Fighter ass health bar that like shows how much damage you're going to do and then lowers? Why is that needed for freaking Wispy Woods? Wow, that tree looks so messed up, you'd think he just gave Link the Kokiri Emerald. Oh cool, now they're showing me like promotional video of the actual game and it's really cool, this footage is all really great. I just literally cannot show it to you or Nintendo will content claim this video and I, I literally won't be able to make any money, ever. Someone from Nintendo will come to my house and shoot me in the head with a silenced pistol that has the Triforce on it. They take this sh really seriously. Although I will say the footage ends with this like super ominous shot of one of those heart things going into Kirby while he's sleeping and then his eyes just blasting open. And it's like, what did you see Kirby? What are you ready to do now? And now onto the second level of the demo, which the game is labeling as hard. Really? 
What do you mean, hard in a Kirby game? Come on, that's not possible. Oh, never mind. They've got the creature from the shape of water here. I'm hard as fuck. You know, I was just thinking to myself, what would be dumber than the ice sword? And then this happened. And I'm just, I'm just in awe. Seriously though, how many times are you ever faced with a fire in life and you're like, you know what? I'm not just gonna shoot water at this. I'm gonna hit it with a watery sword. Also, I could make some kind of sex joke about a very wet sword, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. We're above jokes of that nature at RFC. Ha, Kirby's a rock. That rhymes with cop. Oh my God, finally some representation for Canada in this game. Yes, yes, baby, yes. Curling's a dumb sport, but we love it all the same. So, uh, what's in your mind, Kirby? Just thinking about stuff? Just thinking about stuff? Just thinking about stuff? Is this the first time in a Kirby game ever that the umbrella power-up actually does what an umbrella is supposed to do? Instead of, you know, just beating people to death? That's kind of cool. So, uh, why are there ladders in a game where the protagonist can always fly. And that, kids, is how an orgy is made. So we're just rolling through stuff, breaking everything, not really having to pay attention. Just press the jump button every once in a while. Still better than most Sonic games. Well, we're fighting DDD, and he's buff. So yep, my sword's pretty wet now. Look, come on, you, you can't blame me for that joke. Come on, I mean, I've done the whole Daddy Ganon thing. I've done the whole Daddy Bowser thing. You gotta accept that Daddy DDD was next. Although, could we get a game theory on how DDD got so buff eating only fruit? I mean, there's zero protein in that. Dude, you just, you gotta eat some more protein. Get some meat. Eat my meat. All right, so, uh, th this, this last thing isn't a thing wrong. It's just, uh, I didn't want the last thing in the entire episode to be that I want DDD to eat my meat, implying my penis. Um, I just thought that was a bit in bad taste. Unlike my penis. Hey there, if you like this video, why not hit the like button? Why not hit the subscribe button and click on some of the videos on screen? Check them out. Also, down in the description, we got my social media links and the link to my Twitch channel where I've been streaming regularly. So check that out too.